Well, my friends, we've experienced a miracle. MAGA is acknowledging there was no meaningful fraud in the 2024 election. Isn't it so great that they were able to stop the fraud that they say happened in 2020? You all know what this is really about. Here is uh, MAGA Mike Johnson telling us no fraud, nothing to worry about. Because of all the emphasis we placed on that and because of all the attention the American people uh, put on it, that I think we were able to limit uh, to to a high degree the amount of fraud and irregularity and in in, in many of the things that concerned all Americans after 2020. So that's a good sign. It's another hopeful reason, another thing to celebrate about our new day in America. So thank you all for being here this morning. We're really grateful to get to get to Steve Scalise standing behind him can barely help but smirk about what's going on. We all know what this is really about, and that's what I want to explain to you here. First, real quick, a word from our sponsor. Something I don't go anywhere without is my Ridge wallet. I've been using it for years, long before they became a sponsor, and it makes a perfect holiday gift. A slim front pocket design is thin and lightweight. No more back pain from the George Costanza sized wallet in your back pocket. It holds up to 12 cards and cash, but stays super sleek and you can choose from over 50 colors and styles. There's really something for everyone. Ridge wallets also feature RFID blocking technology to protect your information. Ridge also has these great key cases that hold up to six keys keeping them organized with no jingling. Ridge products are made with durable materials, titanium, carbon fiber. They come with a lifetime guarantee. So when you give someone a Ridge wallet or a key case as a gift this holiday, it will last them forever. Ridge is running a big sale for the holidays. My audience gets up to 47% off. So go grab a gift for someone special or yourself. Head to ridge.com slash David Pakman the link is in the description. So listen, this is what it's really about. You all know it. Uh, there was no fraud in 2020. There was no fraud that I can identify in 2024. Now I will get to some of the things that people are writing to me about regarding 2024. When it comes to Republicans, it's never about reality and it's never about principles. It's about what's convenient. In 2020, it was inconvenient to Trump's massive ego to find some way to claim he didn't really lose. And the way to do that was to say it was stolen. It was stolen. That was the way to do it. This time around, there's no need for the fraud story. And so Trump and people around him go, we're so thankful that we were able to correct all the problems for 2020 this time around and not have to deal with them. The problem is two days before the election, the day before the election, the day of the election, Trump was on Truth Social and others were as well claiming fraud in Pennsylvania, fraud in Detroit, Michigan, sending law enforcement. It's all bad. And on election night, you can see the number of tweets related to election fraud declined as it became clear that Donald Trump was going to win. So there was never any fraud. Now they're willing to acknowledge it only insofar as this year because it's convenient to them. Now, I want to say one other thing. I have some of my friends on the left writing to me saying, David, there was fraud. Trump committed the fraud. I've gone through already a bunch of these different claims. And as the days go by, it is being reinforced that there doesn't seem to be any evidence behind them. For example, one of the claims was none of us believe Biden got 81 million votes and Kamala got 69. Well, first of all, we've got to count all the votes. And as the votes continue going and being counted, Kamala Harris is now around 72 million votes and counting. By the time all the vote counting is done, she's going to have even more votes. Did she see a decline from Biden's turnout? Absolutely. Is it so big that it screams fraud? No. And we can't be like them. So if we're going to scream fraud, we need evidence and we don't have it yet. Secondly, there is a reference to the idea that Elon Musk's Starlink satellites could manipulate the voting machines because of something Elon once said about you can do whatever with Starlink or something like that. This absent any other information, evidence or proof is not enough for us to start shouting fraud the way they did in 2020. So I could go through and give you some of these others. There was one about uh, uncounted ballots were disproportionately Democratic. 
Uh, but there was an explanation for why that was. They were disproportionately urban and Democrats tend to live in cities. Republicans live rurally. So with all of these, my message has been and continues to be the same as 2020. Let's step back and, and really be consistent. In 2020, I said I will examine serious allegations of fraud to the best of my ability and tell you where I come out so far up until now. I still have not seen anything that sways me with regard to 2020. There just isn't good evidence that there was any fraud. Similarly, I am open to hearing about the fraud that some say took place in 2024, yet I am seeing no evidence for it whatsoever. A tweet or a thing Elon once said just isn't proof. And we must hold ourselves to the same standard of evidence that we held them to in 2020. If anyone gets me the evidence, I will revise and update my views as I always do.